Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be jumping into the ACBL's ban on opening a no-trump and overcalling a no-trump with small singletons in a suit. And this isn't something that happened recently, it happened about six years ago, but now that I'm coming back into the game, I just heard about this new rule and I wanted to make a video discussing both the pros and cons and kind of how this originated. So first off, we're going to talk a little bit about bridge organizations worldwide and some of the rules outside of the ACBL for this situation. And then we're going to discuss what the ACBL has decided to do to sanction these offenses. And finally, I'm going to show a couple of hands at the end of this video that showcase some of the difficulties that can arise if you choose to not open a no trump with small singletons, and now it's illegal. So let's get into it. All right, here we are. So we have the WBF, the World Bridge Federation. This is the international organization that runs all of the big international tournaments like the Bermuda Bowl and the World Pairs, and they're at the top of the food chain. Now I'm going to be giving a little quote from their convention booklet as to how they handle the one no trump openings with a small singleton, and then we're gonna compare that with the ACBL's rule. But Let's take a little bit more look at the structure of these organizations. So beneath the WBF, we have a bunch of zonal organizations, for example, the ACBL, which covers North America, that is the United States, Canada, Mexico, and a couple of the island countries in the Atlantic. In Europe, we have the EBL, the European Bridge League, and that covers, for the most part, the entirety of the European countries. Uh, and all of the tournaments therein, including what's coming up, the Chairman's Cup. So why am I comparing the ACBL and the WBF when there are other organizations worldwide? There is also the APBF in Asia, there's the CSB in South America, and a variety of other ones for other continents. Uh, well, the WBF actually shares a lot of its policies with organizations like the EBL, the APBF, Many of these zonal organizations kind of defer to the overlord here in the World Bridge Federation for their rules and regulations about governing tournaments. And the EBL actually specifically states that their purpose in conforming to WBF policies in a lot of their events is to promote uniformity, which I think is a great thing to do for the game. It would be wonderful if you could just travel anywhere in the world and walk into a local bridge club and play bridge without having to worry about different customs. So looking at the WBF convention card, when uh, they discuss the one no Trump opening bid in section 2.4, they say, quote, if you have major quirks, e.g. small singletons are possible, you should mention them here. This means that there's no sanctions against making a one no trump opening bid with a small singleton, and in fact, you're even allowed to have this as a specific agreement in your partnership. Uh, and all you have to do is mention that on the WBF convention card section in the appropriate box. Your opponents will be able to look at this while they're playing and have access to it before the round so that they can be familiar with your systems and agreements. On the opposite side, we have the ACBL convention chart. And in their definition section under natural, they say a no trump opening bid or overcall that contains no voids, no more than one singleton, which must be an ace, king, or queen, and that does not contain 10 or more cards in two suits. So this is the definition of a natural one no trump opening bid. They go on to mention that you're only allowed to overcall and open one no trumps on natural type hands. So this means that you are absolutely disallowed from opening one no trump with a singleton in your hand that is not the ace, king, or queen. And I've heard from several players who have tried to skirt this rule a little bit that they were severely punished when it happened. There was no warning, there was no, it was not even just a small procedural penalty, they were often assigned just a zero for the board. So. That's a bit harsh, but I think it's the ACBL is allowed to enforce their rules however they wish, and I think this is just to combat people who were trying to get around the rule a little bit. That's all for the definitions and what the specific rules are. Now let's take a look at a couple of hands which 
could be treated as difficult situations given this new restriction. Okay, here is the first hand that I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, showcasing kind of the issue with not being able to open one node trump on small singletons in the ACBL. So here we're looking at South's hand. South has 15 high card points, 4441 distribution, and has to make an opening bid. If South was allowed to open a no trump, showing a strong hand, either 15 to 17 or 14 to 16, depending on what system you're playing, then South might choose that as an option. There is, of course, negatives with opening a no trump holding a singleton. Your partner might well transfer you into that suit. This is especially a vulnerability if your singleton is in a major suit. But nonetheless, there are some complications that arise if you don't open this kind of hand one no trump. So let's look at what happens if South makes the natural opening bid of one diamond. West is going to pass, and North, having no four card major suit, is going to respond with one no trump. East is going to pass and it's back to south to make a decision. Now north could have anywhere from about six high card points to 10 or even a bad 11 high card points for this one no trump response. So anything from an invitational hand in say no trump with no fit for his partner to a, a weak response, you know, six high card points, maybe even five, on a bad day, but some sort of minimal response. So South, wanting to keep game in the picture, opposite a 10 or 11 count, probably needs to take a call here. And because the alternative of passing might miss you vulnerable game. But what are South's options? South doesn't have enough length in either hearts or spades, well, doesn't have enough length in the diamond suit to reverse into two hearts or two spades. So South's choices seem to be to make a false kind of reverse where his diamond length is not really up to par. Also, reverses tend to show about a good 16 high card points and this hand doesn't exactly qualify. Um, it's close, but the extra length in diamonds would certainly help make the, make the case for a reverse. South's alternative is to try two no trump, but a two no trump bid here in this auction tends to show 18 to 19, because South is saying he has a balanced hand with some diamonds, and then couldn't open a no trump, therefore he has more than 15 to 17. So depending on what your no trump range is, this would show 17 to 19 or 18 to 19 high card points, in which case North, with most six high card point hands, will just be bidding three no trump and forcing the game. And that's really not what South wants to do with only 15 when you have a misfit and your partner could have a six count, you don't really want to be in game with 15 high card points. So South's in a bit of a bind. Now, if we, so if we step back this auction a little bit and allow for South to open a no trump, for example, 15 to 17, we take a look at North's hand and North has no issues whatsoever in passing out the one no trump bid with seven high card points. The, the hand is not a particularly good seven. There is a good five card club suit, but probably still even a bit pushy, vulnerable at imps to invite with this kind of seven count, even if your partner's playing 15 to 17. So South gets to open a no trump and this will likely pass out to play in one no trump on 21 high card points and a misfit. That sounds ideal. So here's an example of a hand where South actually gets to uh, gets to the top spot by opening a no trump with a small singleton. Now let's take a look at another example hand with a completely different distribution. So here's our second example hand that could pose problems when South is not able to open a natural no trump with a small singleton. Once again, South has 15 high card points, this time with a singleton spade, three hearts, four diamonds, and five clubs. So among South's options for opening the bidding are to open one club, his longer suit, and then based on what partner does, South will have a tricky call at his second turn. The hand, once again, is not quite strong enough to reverse into two diamonds. Again, normally this would show a good 16 high card points or more. This hand is getting there. 
The Ten of Diamonds is probably a pretty good card, but the clubs are maybe a little weaker than we might like, with only Ace-King-8 fifth instead of, for example, Ace-King-10 fifth. So, a secondary alternative is South could open this hand of Diamond and plan on rebidding two clubs. Now this doesn't convey the strength of South's hand. South would tend to have a minimum opening bid up to anywhere around 18 high card points for that kind of action. And so when North takes a false preference to two diamonds, as might happen often, South is in a bit of a bind. Bidding something like two hearts at that point would once again show a bit more than South has in terms of values. And uh, the fact that South chose to open diamond over clubs might indicate that South should have longer diamonds, so North could misjudge later in the auction. So let's just take a look at what might happen if South were to open a diamond on this deal. South gets to open a diamond. Let's suppose the opponents are passing throughout. North will bid his four-card spade suit, not unexpected from South's perspective. And here is South, we face our first decision. So if we were to bid one no-trump, that would tend to indicate our weak no-trump range. And this hand is a little bit too strong for that. Uh, that would either be 11 to 13 high card points if you're playing a 14 to 16 one no trump opener, or it would be 12 to or yeah 12 to 14 if you're playing a 15 to 17 one no trump opener. So South can't bid one no trump. That bid is absolutely out. The most natural thing to do is to bid two clubs. And looking back at North's hand, North in many occasions would tend to make a preference to two diamonds. Now, sometimes this is because North actually has longer diamonds than clubs, in this case they're equal, and North is expecting that his partner's first bid suit is going to be the longer one. So North bids two diamonds, and it comes back to South, and once again, we're in this little tricky spot. North could have anywhere from, say, 8 to 10 high card points with only a double to diamond, where North is hoping South can bid on so that they can reach a game, on say 8 opposite 18, or 10 opposite 16 or 17. Or North could just have a very weak hand with some diamond support, as he does here. In this case, South's best choice would be to pass, but South might get a little aggressive and try something like two hearts to further showcase his hand, in which case North might once again preference to three diamonds, and this could pass out. We wind up in a 4-3 fit at the 3 level with kind of misfitting hands. Our best suit would be clubs, but in a more practical world, if we step all the way back to the start of this auction and we allow South a different opening bid choice, South opening one no trump with this type of hand, once again catches his partner with a balanced 7 count, and North knows that there's no reason to push for a game, so North will pass. We wind up in a no trump, and once the clubs come in, we have seven tricks off the top with five clubs, a diamond, and a spade. The opponents can easily set up at least five defensive tricks, maybe even six on a good day, but we will be making our one no trump contract. So this is just a secondary example. There are a ton more of these with small singletons where one of the challenges is that if you don't get to show your 15 to 17 high card points immediately at the start of the auction, it is often difficult to convey to your partner that you have a hand within that range when you are somewhat balanced later during the deal. And this causes some problems where you either have to guess whether to sign off or potentially and potentially miss a game, or if you get super aggressive and blast your way into three no trump on 20 or 21 high card points some of the time. So these are some of the challenges that ACBL players are going to have to face, and foreign players who come and play in ACBL tournaments will have to face moving forward. So that's going to conclude my discussion of the one no trump opening policy from the ACBL, where they've banned the allowance of small singletons for that bid. Tell me what you think in the comments, and I'll see you soon.